हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हवा यू वेलकम टू द ब्यूटीफुल चैनल पढ़ाई का कवच एंड द ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द नोबलहुड स्कूल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिफाइनिंग ऑफ द मेटल्स हाउ द मेटल्स आर रिफाइंड नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज द नीड टू रिफाइन द मेटल्स once we extract the metals from the ores still it is not pure and to convert it into the pure state we need to refine it as we see the water is not pure which is coming from the municipal corporation pipelines so we need to uh, establish a one water purifier in our home in order to purify the water so the same way the metals coming from the metal ores is not 100% pure in order to extract the 100% pure metal we need to refine it first many metals like copper zinc nickel silver and gold are refined electrolytically so before this topic i mean in our previous session we have discussed about the electrolytic reduction in which the cathode and the anode are the two separate nodes in which the sodium and the chlorine are collected on the respective nodes in which on the cathode the sodium will collected as a positive charge and the chlorine gas is extracted out from the anode so in the similar way in this method the impure metal is connected as anode while the pure metal is connected at cathode okay so in order to store and extract the purest metal from the raw uh, raw metal we need to refine it so let us talk about the refining method which kind of method is utilized <coughs> so let us understand this figure priorly <coughs> this is the entire setup of the electrolytic refining process in which the solution is made up of the copper salt copper sulfate salt sorry so if we want to extract the extract the copper then we will utilize copper sulfate salt if we want to util uh, extract this sodium metal from a cathode node we utilize sodium sulfate solution so in order to extract the desired metal we need to use its salt solution so here <coughs> as a metal salt we are utilizing the copper sulfate in which the copper is a one metal so the impure metal is connected to the anode which is a positive node and the pure metal is connected to the cathode which is a negative node okay so in this figure two separate nodes are connected as we discussed earlier so what will happen let us talk about that once you start the electric current or you can connect the battery between the two nodes cathode and anode so electric current is start to pass okay so now what will happen <coughs> a is connected to the anode means road a is connected to anode so at a anode impure metal is connected so here it is a impure metal while at the cathode the pure metal is connected so what will happen in a copper sulfate solution the copper is discharged 
means copper is sorry copper in the copper sulfate solution the copper gets positive charge and attracted towards the cathode which is negatively charged okay so simply this positively charged particles from the copper sulfate solution will attract to the negative node <coughs> so copper will extract in the cathode and the remaining amount of the copper which is required to stable the solution that copper is extracted from the impure metal so impure metal jo hai usme se copper nikal jayega deposit ho jayega kis mein se jo impurities hai usme se okay which is dissolved further inside the copper sulfate solution so at the anode the impure metal will excrete out the copper okay and it is collected on the cathode so on the cathode it will collect the copper which is from the copper sulfate solution so student this is the simple understanding of the electrolytic refining the important point that you should write in your content first is the uh, about the cathode and the anode that cathode is connected to the negative terminal and anode node is connected to the positive terminal okay so uh, at uh, anode cop impure copper metal is connected while at the cathode pure metal is connected okay after that the new topic starts which is about corrosion so let us talk about the examples of corrosion first of all let me tell you that we have discussed about the corrosion topic in our very first chapter which is about chemical reactions and equations corrosion actually it is a oxidation of the metals uh, the more reactive metals when exposed to the air or to the atmosphere it is gets converted into the metal oxides and that metal oxide is nothing but the other name of the corrosion okay so first let us talk about the first example of corrosion silver articles become black after some time when it is exposed to air so sometimes the silver objects are also gets corroded so it becomes black after some time when exposed to air so it will react with the sulfur inside the air to form coating of silver sulfide so student <coughs> when the silver articles are react with the atmospheric sulfide it will form the silver sulfide and it is a black color coating so this is the type of corrosion which takes place in the silver articles second is copper so when copper react with moist carbon dioxide in air and it acquire green coat this green substance is copper carbonate so student generally copper articles quite extremely react with this atmospheric substance so there is a high possibility to get corroded easily so the substance that uh, we see on the copper articles which is green in color actually it is not a copper or not a toxic substance but simply it is the combination of copper and carbon dioxide and together they will react with each other and acquires a green coat and that green coat is known as the copper carbonate means cu co3 okay this is the substance name this is the green color substance nothing else 
आफ्टर दैट आयरन लोहा जो है वेन इट एक्सपोज टू मॉइस्ट एयर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम इट एक्वायर्स ग्रीन इट एक्वायर्स कोटिंग ऑफ ब्राउन फ्लेक सब्सटेंस कॉल्ड रस्ट सो वेन आयरन इज एक्सपोज टू मॉइस्ट एयर इट विल रिएक्ट विद द ऑक्सीजन सो एज वी नो दैट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड अमाउंट इन द एटमोसफियर इज ओनली जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री परसेंट सो देर इज अ लेस चांस टू गेट कोरोडेड ऑफ कॉपर आर्टिकल्स बट एज वी नो दैट द ऑक्सीजन परसेंटेज इज वेरी हाई मोर देन ट्वेंटी वन परसेंटेज सो द सब्सटेंस विच इज हैविंग अ गुड एफिनिटी टूवर्ड्स द ऑक्सीजन मीन्स ऐसा सब्सटेंस की जो ऑक्सीजन की तरफ ज्यादा खींचे जाते हो ज्यादा रिएक्शन करने की ताकत धराते हो तो दैट काइंड ऑफ सब्सटेंस is easily gets corroded when it exposed to slight moisture so iron is one of that kind of material so when it exposed to the moisture for long time it acquires a brown flaky substance coating which is called rust okay so this is the ultimately corrosion which is happening around us first in a silver articles second in a copper articles third in iron articles so in this three articles metal articles the corrosion is happening and we easily distinguish from the color because the color of this three type of corrosion means it is not different type togetherly it is called as corrosion but according to the color these are the three other uh, different type of substance that uh, generates a coating onto the base metal so first is about the silver react with the atmospheric sulfur and form the silver sulfide while second one is copper which react with the moist carbon dioxide in air and acquires a green coating which is known as the copper carbonate third which one is iron loha which form the iron oxide which is called as rust also <coughs> okay so this is all about the corrosion now let us talk about the prevention of corrosion how the corrosion will be prevented for further so first way student to prevent the corrosion there are most common way is painting to paint the substance with a good quality color and do not uh, remain any of the part unpaint during the painting so that it cannot easily comes into the contact with atmosphere so rusting simply can be prevented by painting second one oiling third one is greasing fourth one is galvanizing fifth one is chrome plating and sixth one is making alloys so in a <coughs> increasing order the chances of corrosion is uh, slightly reducing when you go further from painting to oiling to greasing so once you painting some substance there is a less uh, chances to the substance that it's get corroded in the oiling there are a slight good chances that it will not get corroded and in the third and fourth and fifth type of prevention measure there are possibilities there are continuously decreasing that the substance gets corroded okay so in this way the methods are there for prevention of the corrosion let us talk about them first first is a galvanization let us look about uh, to the galvanization what uh, exactly happening in the galvanization uh, this is the method in which uh, the metal any of the metal sheet or the steel sheet it is coated with the zinc layer okay 
So student what will happening exactly to prevent the substance from the corrosion there is a zinc thin layer coating is there in order to reduce the corrosion and this method is known as the galvanization. So steel ko kabhi bhi hume rust hone se batana hai yani ki zinc lagne se bachana hai to unke upar zinc ka patla layer laga dena chahiye which is considered as a galvanization. So according to this the galvanization is the type of process in which the uh, thin layer of zinc is applied on the base metal whatever be the base metal it was steel, aluminium, platinum anything else okay. So it is galvanization process to stop the corrosion. After that alloying. So in the alloying what will happen? Alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a metal and non-metal. In the alloy generally what will happen that the two metals are present. Okay? Or one metal and one is the non-metal is present. Say for example, if you will take the Fe as a metal. Agar aap iron lete ho, to us iron ki jo capacity hai, wo kam hoti hai. Shock absorb karne ki. Lekin jab aap carbon add karte ho uske andar, So what was exactly happening to the <coughs> ferrous or the iron, it holds a special type of property because of the another mixture. So if you will add a certain amount of carbon which is a non-metal inside the iron, then the hardness of the material will increase. Yani ki hardness jo material ki hai, wo increase ho jati hai. and simply it is affecting the overall performance of the metal. So alloy kya hai? Ek prakar se metal or non-metal ka mixture hai. So how it is processed? Let us talk about this. It is prepared by first melting the primary metal and dissolving the other elements in it in definite proportion. So first is the method in which the metal is melted and the other element is dissolved inside that base metal melt. So for example let us consider let us talk about the iron which is not used in a pure state because it is a very soft metal and state is easily when it is hot. So if Sorry, if the iron is mixed with the carbon, so as I already told you that if we add the 0.05 percentage of the carbon inside the iron, then the resultant iron material is become very hard and strong material. So carbon makes the material more durable and more strong. Okay. When we add the nickel and chromium both of them inside the iron then it is converted into the stainless steel which is very hard and does not rust easily as we know there are a thali and bowl also there in our home which is made up from the same stainless steel material which does not rust easily so this is the example of alloy after that brass and bronze Bronze medal jo generally Olympic ke andar diya jata hai ya to koi bhi sports ki activity hoti hai usme rankers ko third rank wale ko bronze medal diya jata hai to actually copper ke andar tin dal ke bronze banaya jata hai aur agar aap zinc dal do copper mein to brass ban jata hai usme se so actually bronze is not a good conductor of electricity but copper and tin having a good conductor of electricity so uh, the book is trying to tell us that uh, the base metal and the alloy does not hold the same characteristic okay shoulder metal hoti hai ki jo welding or shouldering ke andar istemal hoti hai which is having a low melting point so lead or tin ko mila ke ye shoulder metal banayi jati hai ki jo electrical equipments mein ek dusre ko tar ko jodne ke liye istemal kiya jata hai so this is a, all about a student today's lecture यहाँ पे हमारा यूनिट जो है वो खत्म होता है। I hope कि आप सभी लोगों को मजा आया होगा। In this lecture prevention of corrosion, what is the meaning of corrosion and refining of materials? यहाँ तक रखते हैं। तब तक
अलविदा खुदाफिश थैंक यू